Hello everyone, welcome back. So in the previous videos we have created an app called Demo App and uh, we have also talked about supporting account types as well as uh, authentication, certification and uh, secrets as well as expose and API. So here in the expose of API we also created admins and users as well as a section called admins. So admins are uh, used for higher restrictive uh, privileges whereas the users can use for uh, less privileged uh, access. So let's go ahead and uh, manage app registration with the custom role. So, so in the description, I'll be keeping the relevant videos uh, that you may be interested in. So please do check out that. So let's start the video. So here under our directory, under manage, we have uh, roles and administrators. So click that. So here we have a lot of built-in roles. So in this case, uh, we'll be creating custom role. So let's uh, go ahead and add a custom role. So you can add. Uh, so let's add a custom role, click that. And uh, coming to the name. So let's add uh, a name called my custom app. And uh, my custom app role. And you can add the description if you want. So coming to the baseline uh, permission, you can uh, start from the scratch or uh, clone from a custom uh, role. So if there is already a custom role, you can clone it from there and you can select from here. Since we have not created any custom role, so it is not showing anything. So uh, so we can we'll be going ahead with uh, start from scratch. And let me add that name because it has been uh, went away. Let me custom app full. So let's say this is a uh, roles for let's say credentials so let's a small description regarding that let's go to the next uh, section which is the permissions so here let's search for uh, credentials let's add uh, credentials and uh, so here you can see we have uh, different types of credentials so in this case uh, we'll be adding uh, the password uh, manage password single sign on credential as well as uh, synchronized credential manage so you can see uh, the first one it read uh, password single sign on credentials on a service principles whereas uh, if you talk about the second one it's manage application provi uh, provisioning secrets and credentials so these are the two uh, sections which will be used for this uh, custom role so if you give uh, if you add any person to this particular role he will be having these two privileges so now let's go to the next section and you have to just create it so the name will be my custom app role and uh, the relevant description and the rules related to that so let me uh give the description which is in the docs so why we uh pick these two so for application provisioning these two items are uh, the bare minimum permissions needed to enable and enforce the single sign-on for the applications or uh, service principle uh, being created and to be able to assign the enterprise application to a set of users or groups so the other permissions could also be granted uh, this is a uh, base one so we will be adding these two and uh, the final thing is you can just go ahead and create it so you can see my uh, custom app role so it will be done for you so this is the one that we have created where uh, Right now, there is no assignments uh, for this since we have just now created it. You can add assignments and you can add the members to this particular role so that they can have uh, this access to that. So yeah, so that's it for now. So I hope you guys understood the concept of uh, creating a custom role app. And this is the end of uh, lab 19, which is registering an app. So. I'll be keeping the relevant videos in the description as said before. So if you've liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, please share the video. Thanks everyone.